Today I'm giving you an update on what I'm doing about my poisoned earth. Yes! Please subscribe! Well, what I've been doing is I've been taking containers like this in my motor car, filling them up with cow manure. Now this is about six inches, seven inches um, deep. Filling them up with cow manure and been putting them all over the beds as you can see. Well, as you can see here, this is about six inches thick. I've been putting on top of the ground like this so that the worms can come up from the bottom and start eating it all away. And this will be a perfect mulch. It has to lie here at least between 12 months and 18 months. So I don't know if it's going to be ready, but there's a nice thick layer of um, mulching on top of cow manure. And it should uh, theoretically enrich the soil enough for me to be able to plant to grow things and then continue to feed the soil after that. Well, as you know, not a lot was growing in, in the gardens and in my garden beds, so I've already started to take out a whole lot of um, vegetables. So now I'm going to continue, put on my gloves, get my fork and rip out all the plants that were there because they're not yielding that well. I'll get a few potatoes, a few shallots, a few spring onions, um, maybe a little bit of garlic, but that'll be about it. I've got a, a greenhouse full of vegetables still. They seem to be growing okay, so I'm just letting them grow. But I want to get the soil ready for my planting season next year. Hopefully it'll be soon enough. I know it's quite late. It's near the end of um, July already. And I don't know if it'll have enough time to rot down. But the sooner I get it um, covered with manure, the better for Okay, I've just been harvesting all the crops that I had. And from about the, I don't know, it must have been about 8 to 10 square feet that I had, or you know, around about a, a square yard, maybe a fractionally more, I managed to get this harvest. Now, I pulled out everything out of the ground too, too soon, but have a look at what I pulled out. Okay, I've had some, a uh, few potatoes. A lot of them are very, very tiny because they were really pulled out of the ground far, far too early. I've got a few garlic. They really didn't have much time to grow, so they haven't really grown much. I've had a few spring onions. Now, these have grown um, quite nicely. Um, I've had a harvest of this before as well because the spring onions were growing quite nicely, but this is all that was left. The leeks, as you can see, they really didn't have enough time. They only had a couple of months and they had really bad weather as well. The shallots, as you can see, they started to grow. They started to split up nicely but um, also not enough time to grow and then of course I've been harvesting the spinach and uh, this was what was left so I've pulled that out of the ground now now I've still got plenty more in the in the greenhouse not enough to supply my family but enough to to get us a good couple of salads and stuff like that when they you know that we are harvesting at the moment and they will come into maturity um, uh, you know, a little later, the tomatoes and that start to ripen. But anyway, that's my harvest. Now, there are a few other things I want to let you know that's been happening. I've got my pond filter, and it's got an ultraviolet light inside it, as well as all the other stuff. I've got the little bibs and bobs. I haven't got all the piping for it. I've got my pond liner, so I can start now emptying out the pond and cleaning it out and preparing it for the liner. I'm still waiting for the pump. Um, and when I get the pump, I'll be able to start to connect up the, um, the, the, the well, buy the piping, because then I'll know what sort of tubing that I do need. And I've got the dimensions that I do need. So I'll be able to get that. And I'll start be able to working on the pump, uh, on, the, on the pond. I've got all my stone on the one side that I have to clean. And then I can start building the um, water feature and everything else. So that's really exciting. I've got the, the pond equipment and hopefully I'll be able to start working on that soon. Okay, thank you very much.